near the corner of Southeast Stark and 11th Avenue, you'll now find Lil America, a new food cart pod already buzzing with activity. I mean, there's just like so much good food here, so many cool people. The community here is amazing. Cloudy skies and scattered showers couldn't keep customers away. And luckily, this space is equipped to keep everyone dry and comfortable. The BIPOC and LGBTQ plus focused food carts offer a variety of options. Uh, we've been open, I think this is our sixth week. Sunny Hatch owns Fry Baby, a Korean American fried chicken cart. I grew up in Dallas, Texas. There was a lot of Korean restaurants there. Um, my mom is Korean, she's an immigrant, I'm a first generation, so uh, yeah, I just wanted there to be one more place to eat Korean food. He explains what sets Lil America apart from other pods is the diversity. I feel like it's a really unique representation of what America actually is. Um, there's a lot of different offerings, some traditional and some kind of like reimaginations of, you know, cultural food. I've never been in another pod, I just know we all get along and like, I don't know, there's no like rivalry, there's no competition. Everybody makes such different and unique like, foods from like their own backgrounds. A couple carts down, you'll find Dahlia Hansen's Speedo Cappuccino. We are a queer bikini barista, um, vegan food and coffee sold exclusively by queer sex workers. And you can't miss the dripping crab a seafood staple started in 2020. Uh, me and my business partner, Sorrel Till, um, and we actually started off as a pop-up. Um, we started on Super Bowl Sunday of that year, uh, got an Airbnb and said, let's do this. Shermaine Scott says it's been highly successful since then, and they're happy to have landed here. What really pulled us in here is just the fun and energy that we saw here. Um, you know, not only that, it appeases to any and everyone. I mean, BIPOC, LGBTQ, um, you know, and as being African-American, um, it really set in for us. So um, we're just excited, you know, just excited to be here. After an impressive showing on day one, the owners say they're looking forward to many more exciting days ahead. In Southeast Portland, Alma McCarty, KGW News.